So I feel energy-wise, do you feel a little bit like a freshman? But like you said, does your mind feel like you're a postgraduate almost? I mean, do you feel like you got like a mixed, mixed body there? Uh, yeah, not a freshman, but <laughs> but somewhere in there, definitely. It's we're on two different levels right now, but we're we're trying to connect for sure, and it's, I'm figuring it all out slowly but surely. How do you, how does this team last year? A lot of people doubted you and said, said this team maybe wasn't going to be as good losing so many players. Now it's flipped. Everybody's saying, oh, how great this team is, how far you guys can go. Do you feed off that, block that out like you did the negative talk last year? How, do you, how is this team mentally approaching the year? I mean, um, I mean, we obviously within the program, you know, we know who we have, what we have, you know. And obviously having those expectations for this year, you know, sounds really cool. It's exciting. But – one thing that's good about this team is we don't really too much focus on that. Obviously, when it comes out, you like, cool, we'll share it. Then we're back to practicing. Coaches, especially Coach Starkey, has made a big emphasis on, like, you know, that's cool, but, you know, we're going to focus on practicing. You know, how much better can we get than yesterday than we were? You know, stuff like that. So just being focused in on each practice has been our biggest thing, not too much focus on those expectations. Where, where, where do you, what do you bring most to this team? And they say, oh, man, this team really is good because Wilson does this. What, what do you feel you do do good to help this team? Um, I guess I find different roles uh, kind of each practice or each day. But I think one thing I'm really big on is just making sure that I'm there for my teammates and as far as if it's verbal or is leading during practice or wherever I can. It changes a lot. But for one thing I say, I bring a different type of energy to the team when we need it. So. I think that'll be one thing for sure. Uh, Jasmine said earlier that this team seems a lot. Uh, we, Coach Blair has been really ahead of the curve of practice than a lot of other teams. What do you think that? How much of a challenge does that bring to the younger players? And what have you been telling them? Um, I know, especially for our freshmen, that's probably been a big thing. But obviously, because we have the veterans that we have on this team, I think it's kind of been a, a little bit of a smoother transition because. Those two players, Mackenzie Green and Jordan Nixon, have came in. They're, you know, they're ready to step into the program. They're ready to have the same goals as the team and all those things. So when they come in with a mindset like that, it kind of makes it easier. Obviously, being under Coach Blair is not the easiest thing. Being a point guard as well, but we always, I always check in with them, and you know, I always let them know, like, hey, one day at a time. Like, it's gonna be some days where you're gonna be frustrated because you don't understand, but at the end of the day, you know, they know they have us in. They can ask, talk to us about whatever, and we're helping them get real accustomed to the program. What's it like playing with Kennedy Carter? It's it's an experience. It's called we, we uh, I know Sierra joked around one time called it the Kennedy Carter experience, but <laughs> for sure it's an experience because you know she has so many tricks in her bag. She plays so hard, works so hard. You know you never know what she'll get or how she'll get it done. So it's really cool. I guess just being beside her and being able to witness the things that she's been able to do for sure. Do you, do you reach yourself, do you, do you have to remind yourself not to watch her so much as, as to play? Does that ever happen or when you, when you talk about the Carter experience? <laughs> I know for us in the beginning at first, we know when we first started playing, a few of us would probably get caught watching, but now it's beginning to get so, you know, normal, something that she does that, you know, we'll watch a little bit, but we'll still know, like, all right, we got to make sure we still locked in because coach, one of the coaches are going to get on us. But for sure, you can catch yourself watching for a little bit. What about such a such a uh, upper classman type team with all the juniors, or whatever? Does this team have one or two leaders, or is it leaders by by committee? Who, who are the leaders on this team? I think the roles of the leaders on this team have kind of just fell into our hands because, like I said, we have something special in this program, and kind of especially within the upper classmen, like each individual brings something different, whether it's verbal on the court or off the court or whether it's physical it kind of just it just happens so we do have a committee that coach Starkey uh, is over and it's called the leadership committee but within that I think just within this team as a whole we have about four or five players that we all know like we are the leaders we hold the expectations this is the standard and everything like that who are those four or five uh it'll be me um Shambria Washington Sierra Johnson Aaliyah Jackson and Sierra Johnson oh and Jasmine Williams. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you so much.